But if you like puzzles and you like what we've been doing, you're going to see the connection. So we're looking at factoring quadratics, where unlike what we've worked on so far, there is a number here that's not an invisible one in front of this squared term. And how to factor using these is these steps down here, which we'll just go through step by step and work on this first problem. <clears throat> the first step is to check to see if you can factor out a GCF. Remember when we did this last week, we used an upside down division that kind of ended up looking like a cake by the end, remember that? What can we factor out of all three of these terms? Yeah, and we're gonna rewrite that then as 7x squared minus 6x minus one. Turn and talk at your table, where did the one come from? You do, they're right here. Okay, it did come from division. Two divided by two would be one, and we've got a minus sign or a negative in front of that, so this is a negative one. When we've factored out a number like this, you wanna go and take that number and put it in front of the parentheses that's in your answer space. And then honestly, we don't need to think about that again until we're checking our work, okay? So if, if there's something you find you can factor out, factor it out and then go put it in the answer space and let it go from your brain. It's gonna be a lot more for your brain to do. <clears throat> the next step is to write the squared terms term in the top left box. The seven X squared is gonna go here. The third bullet, write the constant in the bottom right box. We've been multiplying with these boxes for a while. What's going to show up here? The like terms that are going to end up equaling this negative 6x, right? So that's what we have to think about. What's going to end up here is going to equal negative 6x. And the other thing for us to think about that's a new part of using our puzzles and our boxes and our x puzzle is these two things we're going to multiply and show that multiplied together, those would be negative 7x squared. So when we multiply, we're getting what's going to go in the top of the X puzzle. When we add or combine like terms, we're getting what goes in the bottom of the X puzzle. And this is really what we're doing with this fourth bullet here. The missing diagonal sums to the middle term or the missing diagonal adds and gives us the middle term. These two boxes, we have to have something that equals negative six X when we add them, but the same two things when we multiply them would give us negative seven X squared. I'm thinking uh, negative 7x and positive 1x. Now, notice the difference here. We're using the x puzzle to find what goes into the box. What's in our x puzzle is not our answer to the question yet. Let's put the negative 7x here and the positive 1x here. And let's think about what goes around the outside of this box to multiply to get these things inside. 
If I've got a 7x squared and a negative 7x, I'm going to put it underneath the box since I've written above it. But don't you think that I could be multiplying by 7x here? 7x times x is going to get me x squared, isn't it? x times 7x is going to get me 7x squared. What times 7x is going to give me this negative 7x? Negative 1. What times negative 1 gives me a negative 1? So now I've got these four things around the outside. I'm going to highlight them because normally we write them at the top and the left. And I want us to just check our work here. Is 1 times x 1x? This and this gives me this. This and this gives me this. This and this gives me this. And these two multiplied give me this. So it works. What I've highlighted in the orange then is our answer. We're using the same idea of the X puzzle and the box method, but we're using it slightly differently this time. The X puzzle is helping us fill in the box, and then the box itself helps us puzzle out what is going to be out here. That means that the answer to this is X minus 1 and 7X plus 1 with that two in front. How do I check my work? Well, I take that two times x minus one and seven x plus one. And the first thing I want to do is use my box. and come up with and then I pull this 2 down and multiply it times everything. Did I get back to our original? Oh, thank you. Did I get back to our original with your help on my mistake? You can see there's tons of places for little mistakes here, am I right? And what we've done is we've taken the puzzles that you guys were just showing me, you aced in that quiz, and we've added another layer on. Everything has two steps to them where before it had one. So let's go to the inside and let's do some practice with some more problems.